These are my daughters on the left, Patricia Montgomery Fertelt on the right, and Heath Montgomery. Tell me your reaction when you first saw this magnificent seven foot painting. I'll just say that when I first saw this painting, it was on its side in the house that we have inherited, and it really didn't look like much. It, it looked like um, something that had been forgotten. And as we rediscovered Jean Harlow uh, in our own ways, Trish and I, I have decided uh, that what she means to me is that she is a literally larger than life goddess, a sex symbol, a feminist, someone to admire, someone to rediscover, hopefully that the public can rediscover and appreciate for all of her beauty, for all of her striving, for everything that she tried to accomplish uh, and in the process became a star doing so. When I first saw it, I, I thought it was um, something from an Elvis lounge, you know, like a velvet lounge, kind of soft porn. And I pulled it out from behind uh, my uncle's huge bureau in a dilapidated and decaying house that had raccoons and animals living in it. And I pulled it out and said, look guys, as we were going through uh, stuff. And we had a uh, kind of crunch for time. So we took a look at it and never seen anything like it, never seen anything this huge. But let me talk about what's in the portrait on her Right hand is a sapphire, 76 carat sapphire ring given to her by William Powell. Um, it is allegedly um, the most glorious uh, sapphire Hollywood had ever seen at the time. However, it's not real sapphire because he was also sort of renowned to be a bit of a cheapskate. Um, he was married at the time and she was his girlfriend for three years. They were wildly in love when she got really sick at 26 and died. Um, so we'll spare you some of the Jean Carlo history. She's thrice married. She died of kidney failure. Um, upon second review, knowing that perhaps it was Jean Carlo, Anne and I really got into researching with our attorney, April McLaughlin, in Harrisonville, Missouri, um, who she was. And she was the original feminist. She was the original blonde bombshell. Now, you've heard of the name uh, Norma Jean. Norma Jean uh, revered her, worshipped her, dyed her hair. Um, and there may not have been a Marilyn Monroe had it not been for Jean Harlow. Um, she, her first big break was Hell's Angel, Hell's Angels by Howard Hughes, and he dubbed her the Platinum Blonde. Twice a week she washed her hair in Lux Flakes, Ammonia, and Clorox. And then all the girls and women around the U.S. in 1932 also did the same. She was, um, she starred in six movies with Clark Gable. She was a tremendously um, powerful and well-known and famous woman of her era, right before the Hayes Act. And we're gonna finish with Anne explaining a little bit of history. Okay. So the Hayes Code um, was sort of a morality code that came into being, I think, in the mid-30s. And Wilbur Hayes was uh, the gentleman that brought it to Hollywood and essentially closed down women uh, from being brassy and sexual and out there and in charge and bossy, which was all of the things that Jean Harlow um, you know, presented in her characters as she played them in films. So she's really from pre-code Hollywood era, and that makes her as exciting as Mae West, who may be better known, uh, but it makes her her own person in a way that uh, subsequent Hollywood starlets had a hard time being. So we're very excited uh, as modern day feminists, Trish and I, to bring her back. And we welcome anybody um, taking an interest in her, and we'd love to talk with you if you're interested. Thanks so much. We just want to finish where it's painted by Tino Costa. He also painted Shirley Temple, Woodrow Wilson. He was quite a well-known port portrait artist of his era. So we give credit to that. And the history of finding it in this dilapidated house of our mother and uncles in Harrisonville, Missouri, is quite fascinating. So. Stay tuned to part two, perhaps. Signing out from Kansas City, I'm Trish. I'm Ann. We'll swap. <laughs> you guys rehearse this? <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> <alter>. <laughs>